Hey guys, this is Night Elite, and today I want to talk about a really interesting train behavior in Factorio that somebody named Zanostra uh, posted about in the Bug Reports forum on the Factorio forums. And this is very odd because it's a behavior that lets you get two trains into the same signal block. So let me show you what happens here. So here we go, the trains go. This is what you'd expect them to do normally. They stop these circuit controlled signals when they get there. Great. But now when well, this is all controlled by this belt here, so there we go. Now they'll they're free to go, they'll go through and reset. Now if we take that middle signal away, this will put it back to the weird behavior. So watch this time. They collide. So what is happening here? Well, uh, I've been looking at it while the game is paused, and it is pretty interesting, so I figured I'd make this video to highlight it. Uh, so here it goes. This time they won't collide because the circuit controlled signals here are not activated, so everything works the way it should. But it appears that this behavior exploits um, an issue with circuit controlled signals in Vectorio. So here we go, I'm going to pause it and step through this. So let's watch what happens. Um, so this is when the top train is going to get into the intersection first, but it's worth noting, see this whole kind of Y-shaped section is one signal block and this plus the behavior of these circuit controlled signals is the behavior that the that uh, Zenostra has exploited here to create this scenario so let's watch what happens so if we advance this a few ticks at a time okay the first trains getting into the intersection now this is the important part it has now reserved by entering this block first the top train the purple train here has reserved this block for itself now, watch what happens when we continue. So it's now moved. Uh, its breaking point has now entered the next block. That signal turned yellow. This is all fine. We'll advance a little further. And now let's start advancing one tick at a time. So note here that the breaking distance has now passed the circuit controlled red signal, uh, which normally the train would stop at, as we saw at the very beginning of this video but it isn't this time and i think the reason why is because it's already uh, reserved this y-shaped block for itself so it figures it's okay for it to blow past the circuit controlled signal because this is already a reserved block for this train now let's step through this a little further and note now the bottom train starts breaking at the chain signal that's what we would expect the block is currently reserved but now the top train has started breaking for the station. Now watch this though. As soon as this top train gets to the space between the circuit controlled signal and the regular signal, here we go. See, this signal turns green. Next tick, bottom train is now moving again because this signal block is now unobstructed for it. So we can see here it is successfully pathing through and it also continues past the circuit controlled signal for the same reason as before and because at the point where it reserved this block the other train wasn't in it and it doesn't check again it only checks when its braking distance initially gets to the block that's the same reason that manually controlled trains can be crashed into by automatic trains sometimes um, so yeah, so now we see that the top train is re-entering the same block, but because the bottom train already made its check when the braking distance got to this point that I'm highlighting, it doesn't check again, and it just continues on its way. So I'll take it off pause, and the trains crash. So this seems interesting. Seems like behavior that could potentially be exploited to do some interesting things, like take trains that are in a normal signal controlled rail network and take them off into an unsignal controlled rail network and you can do some neat things like uh, 
there's this ethereal trains grid station that um, arrow and my gluteus made or there's another guy uh, another neat thing with back-to-back -back trains that are literally like um, you know nose to tail uh, at full speed that you could also do in this scenario but then split the trains off and put them on their own grid and still take advantage of some signaling behaviors when splitting them back off into a normal signaled rail system so anyway there's some neat concepts that are potentially applicable from this of course assuming that the devs don't decide that this behavior is a bug but anyway uh thanks for watching <laughs>